Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. As promised, because I, I, I tried to get this done last week, but unfortunately, I had a lot of stuff to do. So uh, this is part two of my musical gear blowout. And the reason why I'm selling, you know, a lot of my musical gear, my guitars, my sound modules, because I don't play all the guitars. You know, they come in, I enjoy them, and then I pass them on to the next person to enjoy them. And as far as my sound modules, uh. More more so now, I'm working with what's called a workstation where everything is contained because normally my writing setup is I got several modules. I MIDI them together. I pull certain sounds out of each of them into the mixing board, and then I do my you know my thing. But I find it a little more easier now just to do a all-house, in-house in uh, you know thing because I, f I found me a, a, a workstation that just is dynamite. You know, it's in Sonic, and that thing got everything, and... You know, so I don't have to worry about taking time, plugging things in, MIDI up the channels and pulling up the patches and then trying to keep it from defaulting back to the factory setting. So uh, I got a part with some of my stuff, you know, so this is video two because the first one was guitars. Today is sound modules and the next one sometimes we could be drum machines and digital recorders. So first up on the list is. Yamaha. And Yamaha makes some dynamite <coughs> sound modules. This is the Yamaha TG500. It came out in 1993. It has over 384 presets. There's a lot of tons of sounds in this thing. Keyboard, uh, pianos, synthesizers, bass synths, drums, and uh, you name it, it's in there. 64 polyphony, multi-timber. Uh, I'm going to turn it on because I, I think it's a good idea so you can guys see that it, it works. It comes on. Because what happens a lot of time on Reverb.com, and some people on eBay is guilty of this too, but mainly Reverb.com. If you really don't know nothing about modules as far as, you know, the battery, because they have an internal battery in here that lasts about 10 years. It just stores the data, you know, when you turn off the machine and store it away. But over like probably about 10 years, that battery starts to go out. And when you turn on the on the machine, it'll tell you. As soon as you turn it on, and turn them check it, uh, change and turn the battery. And here's the problem with that that a lot of people don't know, and it ain't pretty. It is not a pleasant thing. It's not a problem to buy a battery put in there. It costs about ten bucks. It's not a problem to install the battery. It take about five minutes. The problem is once you take that internal battery out, all those presets go away. So unless you got them stored somewhere else to reload them back in, uh, it's a messed up situation. So, uh, you know, you definitely want to stay away from you turn the machine on, you buy something, a uh, sound mod, you turn it on and get that internal thing. Because at some point in time, it's going to go away. So uh, I've never done this because I imagine it's a pain in the tail that you got to uh, download, you know, the, the, the presets somewhere and then restore them once you put the battery in. You know, so uh, you definitely kind of want to get stay away from that. And that's the reason why I turned the machine on so you can see that uh, it doesn't have any other. Uh, check that battery or the battery going to die. You know, so I thought it would be a good idea just to turn it on so you guys know that it works. And I don't have that internal battery issue. Because uh, a long story short, uh, I bought one off of eBay. No, Reverb. And uh, when it got here, because uh, in the picture it wasn't on. And uh, when I got when I got it home, all of a sudden uh, it said the internal thing. When it came to the mail, I said, "Dude, you didn't mention that. If you wouldn't mention that, I would have not bought it." Uh, so I'm sending this back. Oh, you're not sending this back. Yes, I am. And then, long story short, I contact PayPal, and they forced him to send me back my money because it was not as described. If he would have had a picture of it with the picture of the internal battery uh, sing, uh, uh, thing up there, or just said it in the description, I would have not bought it. You know, so I just thought I would pass that information on to you guys because to me that's important. Oh, and the price of this is uh one fifty. I paid about two fifty for this thing, and this is one of Yamaha's top of the line sound modules. So the next one is let's do this one. This is my favorite one, and I really hate to part with it, but I don't use it. This is the Kurtz World PC two R. Because each module has a, uh, uh, I guess, a piano version. And uh, the piano version is uh, the PC, uh, PC2. So this is the PC2R, which which means, the R means rack mount. It, it took me over a year and a half to find this because I said, I got Roland's, I got 
uh, Korg, I have Yamaha, I don't have any Curse World, and uh, Stevie Wonder swear by Curse World, because Curse World is the bomb, it's a German company, and they make, they're like the Mercedes Benz of modules, you know, they, they're the top of the line, it took me, like I told you, a couple of years to find this thing, when I first found that, uh, the guy wanted $800 for it and didn't have the power supply. And the problem with that is this power supply is not the can go to Radio Shack or, you know, and bad. This is specifically designed for this machine. So if you don't have the power supply, this unit is useless to you, you know. And then uh, I couldn't find one on Kurt's World uh, site as far as buying parts for, you know, their older products. So I was like, you know what? I can't buy that, dude. Especially, you know, for what you want, 800 bucks. I mean... If it was four hundred bucks, it would be useless to me because I couldn't. I didn't have the, uh, the the power supply. So I did find one about uh, about a year later. The guy wanted six fifty four. I said, okay, cool, because uh, these things was like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars when they were first made. And uh, again, Curse World is the bomb. It's you know it's the Cadillac or should I say the Mercedes Benz of sound modules. So let me turn it on so you guys see that it does come on and it does work. Okay, and this thing got a lot of good sound patches. I mean, the sound quality of this thing is just unbelievable. And uh, 64 Polyphony, it has over 536 presets. You you get tons of piano, tons of bass, tons of synth. What I like about this keyboard here, this is the meat and potatoes sound module. And what I mean by that is, guys that can actually play and play well, you know, uh, they want sound patches pianos they want some fender rolls they want some acoustic they want some grand pianos they want some nice bass stuff they want some nice synth stuff which is the synth stuff is kind of uh it adds it complements the piano chords you know this is if you're looking to do techno this is ain't this ain't the, the model for you because uh the majority of the synthesizers is from tent uh techno stuff you know, nothing as far as meat and potato patches. This is a meat and potato patches sound module. So if you are, quote unquote, a real piano player, not some dude playing with one hand and pulling up samples, this is the sound module for you, my friend. I'm telling you. And it's hard to find the, quote unquote, meat and potatoes type of uh, sound modules because the majority of them now are just for techno, synth stuff, a whole bunch of uh, intro patches, but nothing as far as, you know, when you listen to like a Frankie Beverly and May song, you hear this great piano part throughout the entire song. The majority of the sound modules these days don't have those kind of, you know, meat and potato patches. And this was designed specifically for that. That's why it was so hard to find. And that's why the price tag was so big. But it's worth it. So like I told you, I paid about six fifty for this. I'll let this go for three, three and a quarter. This is a great deal because if you go on eBay, if you can find one and good luck with that, you're going to be paying about six, seven hundred bucks. You know, no kidding, about six, seven hundred bucks. So you get this for three and a quarter plus forty dollars shipping and handling. So let me... Move on. I really hit the part with this one because this one's hard to come by. The other ones that I got that I'm showing you, I can find them, you know, in a matter of couple of days, but not at the price that I'm trying to give it to you guys. So let me turn that one off. Okay. This is the Korg SR Rack Station. And this was kind of like the curse world. You know, this is a meat and potatoes type of sound module. And what I love about this sound module is this. The first thing that uh, appealed to me was that big old LED screen. Because I don't have 22-year-old eyes anymore. You know, I got, I'm wearing glasses these days. Last year, I didn't even have glasses. But as you get older, you know, things happen or deteriorate. So that was the first thing that I was like, okay, cool. And what's great about this thing is, uh, let me see how many presets. Uh, 128 presets. Uh, 64 polyphony, multi timber. Uh, this is a, again another meat and potatoes type of patch or piano or module. It got some great, very realistic acoustic piano sounds. I think acoustic piano is the hardest thing to replicate on sound modules because uh, the earlier ones, the piano acoustic piano sound like garbage. But they got the electric thing down, but the acoustic, you know. It's not too many modules that have a really nice grand piano acoustic patch that sounds realistic and pleasant to the ears. This is one of them. The Curse World is another one. Now, the Yamaha I just showed you got some, you know, they got some decent acoustic piano patches. They're not bad, but they're not nothing like this. This thing has some serious 
uh, acoustics, some serious Fender Rose type of stuff. The rotary speakers, when you play it, it hit, it's bouncing back and forth over, over the stereo spectrum. Let me turn it on so you guys can see that it works. And there's no eternal battery issue, nothing like that, you know. Let me see why I can't select it from here because I can't read from, I can't read backwards. But, uh, yeah, studio, dance, piano. I mean, uh, Whirlister EP, I love it. That's one of my favorite ones. FM uh, electric piano like DX7 piano and electric piano funkomatic some nice organ stuff clavinet vibe strings flutes acoustic bright piano still classic electric piano and so on and so forth it's, it's a lot of good stuff in this thing and I'm letting this one go for this is the core guess are 150 plus 40 dollars shipping and handling so that's that one. Then I think I got one more for this video. And they say that uh, good things do sometimes come in small packages. This is the Yamaha P50. And it has 28 uh, piano sounds, 32 polyphony, multi-timber. I'm not going to turn this on because I taped the... the, the the core to it because I try to make it a habit that when I got stuff like that when I sell it the cord comes with it because I, I just don't understand I'm looking on eBay cord not included are we kids that we can't keep our stuff intact we're grown ass men and we can't keep our plugs together our manuals and stuff of that nature I don't get it you know if I buy something brand new and it comes with the manual when I sell it 15 years down the lane you're gonna get the power cord and the manual you know, it didn't get lost or somebody took it or you misplaced it. It's like, come on, man. You know, what's up with your lack of organization skills when you're a grown man, not a kid? You know, but uh, sorry for that tangent because uh, that's just one of my pet peeves as far as you just don't have it together. You know, you don't have every, everything in order. You know, nobody's perfect, but we're expecting you at least to hold on to the power cord. You know, so uh, what really kind of got me really excited about this unit was this uh you know e e uh, youtube as you're watching this youtube is wonderful because what i do now is uh you know instead of going to the music store because they don't have gear that's 10 years old still there just go on to youtube and you find somebody that was generous enough to spend a moment of their, their free time to post a video to let you go through the sound patches or let you hit the sound patches they give you specifications because uh any of these modules here that you're not familiar with, and most likely you're probably not totally familiar with, just type in the the you know the uh, the model on YouTube, and you'll see a video, and you'll hear the sound patches. And a lot of guys let you hear every single sound patch in the module, so you you know what you're getting. And then you get stats online. You know, you type in you know uh, Yamaha PC2 stats, and you can pull up the stats on this. Cause uh, I'm not a super stat technical dude. I'm just a dude that likes stuff, and when I like it, I play it, and then I record it. You know, I'm not into the parameters, and I, I don't need to do all that stuff because I'm going to share a, a little, I guess, trade secret with you guys. You know, when I give you a good example. Babyface in L.A., when they were cranking out some serious tunes in the early 90s, you know, the drum programs, the patches, they hire engineers to do that stuff the only thing they do is come in and play they don't be plugging things up and midi them up and going through the midi channel they don't do none of that stuff they hire guys to do that you know so uh there's some people that think that you need to know everything about these units that the, the parameters the midi channels the, no i ain't got time to do all that i'm a musician i'm not a techie dude you know you hire the techie guys to come in and do the techie stuff but uh this thing is awesome. You know, when I first heard it on YouTube, the sound patches, you know, they were nice. You know, because a lot of times you equate small with cheap garbage. But, you know, this is not cheap garbage. And another thing I stay away from, and this is the sign of a cheap uh, small unit, when you have to, uh, let me see if I can put it up here so you can see it. It has the MIDI, MIDI in, MIDI out. Now, and over here, it has the outputs, which is the full side cord, not that little tiny RCA bullshit. That's garbage. When you see a module that they get them little tiny ones, don't buy it. It's garbage. But uh, 
This one has something loose in it. I don't know what it is, but uh, apparently it's not affecting the way that it works because it came with the little thing in there. But it works. It comes on and it's totally functional. You know, so maybe some little piece broke off in there, but I just thought I'd mention that. So this one is going for $120 plus 20 well, actually about $30 shipping and handling. Because everything that I send out to you guys is priority mail with signature required. So that's why it's sometimes a little pricey just to make sure that... Uh, the carriers just don't leave your, your unit on, on the back porch or the front porch and not contact or, or have contact with a physical person to hand it to somebody. You know, so there it is. You get those. I have those four modules for sale. The Yamaha TG500. That thing is awesome. Uh, the Korg G State Piano piano thing. That thing is awesome. Uh, the Curse Word is just a bomb. The Yamaha is a nice little addition to your setup because it has a lot of dx7 sounds it has a lot of old yamaha piano sounds that they use like in the 70s uh super tramp and you know groups like that you know so again uh these are great prices because if you go on ebay now and pull up these they're going to be at least a hundred dollars anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars extra from what i'm trying to give it to you guys you know like you guys know i don't play junk i don't buy junk i don't play and uh you know i don't sell junk you know so you're getting some professional studio quality sound modules here because i had one gentleman he uh over the last couple of months like let me know when you're gonna sell some modules man i said okay cool so uh here it is my brother you know and sisters so i'm gonna sign off now my paypal information is right down there once you send me a comment say i'm interested in this one what i do is once you know you submit payment and then i send you an email saying that i receive your payment and your item go out the next business day look in the subject line when you're viewing this video because Anything that gets sold, I'll put it right there in the subject line. Like, say, for instance, if I sell the Yamaha TG500 today, I'll put right down in that subject line, this uh, Yamaha TG500 has been sold. So that way you, you will know that if it's still available, if it isn't available. If you look down there and don't see the, the item that you're interested in uh, gone, it's still available. You know, so again, uh, it'll go out the very next business day, United States Postal Signature Required. You get tracking so you know the moment that it leaves the post office from me and the day that it's going to show up on your doorstep. Because uh, UPS, I mean, United States Postal Service got an excellent track record to me. I, I send a lot of my stuff through those guys because it's easier. I just go up to the post office. Uh, when they say it's going to be there on that day, it's going to be there on that day 99% of the time. The only time that sometimes there's the delay if, if the issue with serious issues like hurricanes in that area you know because they put that on their website uh it might be the time it might be a time that they do to the hurricane whatever you know but for for the most part when they say it's coming next tuesday it's gonna be there next tuesday so prepare for it being there next tuesday because it's gonna show up next tuesday so i'm gonna sign off now until next time take care and thanks for watching and again uh first come first serve you know once you say hey i want this you submit the money it goes you know and then I put down there, it's been so. Take care. Thanks for watching.